New at 7 o'clock, the man acquitted for the brutal murder of 12-year-old Stephanie Crow is free again, despite facing new felony charges for a different crime. As 10 News reporter Michael Chen explains, the difference between jail and freedom for Richard Tewitt may come down to two days. We last saw Richard Tewitt in January in a courtroom. Hey, Judge, I was on my way to the FBI. As he pleaded not guilty to a felony count of trespassing on prison grounds as a felon. At that time, his bail set at $20,000. Fast forward to Thursday, a judge setting him free over the objections of prosecutors as part of the state's zero bail policy to release low level offenders during the pandemic. A policy set to end starting Saturday. To its sister, told 10 News, I'm absolutely pleased he is not a danger to anyone. To it is no stranger to headlines. Following the 1998 stabbing death, of Stephanie Crow at her Escondido home, Tewitt, a homeless sex offender, was convicted of voluntary manslaughter in 2004. Before he was prosecuted, Crow's brother and two friends were accused of the murder, but the confessions were ruled to have been coerced. Tewitt was arrested after DNA testing showed spots of Stephanie's blood on Tewitt's shirts. During jury selection, Tewitt slipped out of his cuffs and out of the courthouse, but was recaptured hours later. Seven years after his conviction, an appellate court tossed it out, ruling a judge unfairly limited the cross-examination of a witness. Tewitt was acquitted in a second trial after the defense argued the blood from the crime scene was transferred to Tewitt's shirts. Another seven years later, he's once again in legal trouble, but he'll await his day in court as a free man. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. In a statement, Cheryl Crow, Stephanie's mother, says, Richard Tewitt walking the streets after murdering my child is our family's daily struggle and a threat to everyone's safety.